Bum, 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 bum. Hey, everybody. I thought I'd give a little special evening periscope on one topic. There's a lot of confusion, I notice, on the topic of mail-in votes. And I thought this might be a, a situation where my special skill stack is exactly what you need. Now, if you've been watching the news, you see uh, uh, Biden saying things about mail-in votes. You see the press saying things about mail-in votes. You see the president say things. It gets a little confusing, doesn't it? So I thought I would describe uh, the three different kinds of mail-in votes to Dale, uh, Dale the Democrat. And uh, I'm going to use a, a technique that I have refined over the years. It's called cursing. Because there are some topics, and I don't know exactly why, but you can't really penetrate every topic without the right kind of foul language. So there will be foul language here. Are you ready? I think you are. Well, let me explain to Dale. First of all, Dale, can you come over here? Uh, I'd like to introduce you to the group. Hi. Dale, are you ready for this quick explanation of mail-in voting and what's good and bad about it. Present. All right. So, Dale, just pay attention. We'll go to the whiteboard. And it's really quite simple. There are essentially, for all practical purposes, three types of situations. You've got your absentee, absentee voting, which has been around for a long time, and that's where you request a ballot. So they mail it right to your address, to the address you told them to mail it to. You're expecting it. And that works really well. We have lots of history on this. It's uh, reliable. It's been tested. And for this bit of mail-in voting, both Republicans and Democrats call this good. There is no argument about this part of the mail-in voting. It's completely good. Dale, do you understand what I'm saying, that this part... There's no argument about it. You get that, right? Of course. I'm not some kind of an idiot. All right, well, stay with me. Then there are two situations that are kind of related. They're both unsolicited, where they send you all the ballots, whether you wanted them or not. So everybody who's on their database gets a ballot. Now, there are about, I think, five states that have some history with this, and they've had some time to clean up their database of addresses so nobody gets one that goes to the wrong address. You don't get, you know, a dead person stuff, that sort of thing. They've cleaned it up. They've also tested it a few years. That's important. And they have some history. So if something weird happened this year, you could look at it and say, wait a minute, we've got some history here. We can tell that there's something wrong there. We better look into it. So for these five states who have a little bit of a history with it and have cleaned up their database, this is good. It's good. Democrats think this is a good idea, and Republicans also think this is a good idea for just these five that have tested it. Do you understand that, Dale? Of course. Go go ahead. Continue. All right. Now, here's where it gets complicated, Dale. There's a different situation that is not like these other two. And unfortunately, most of the states fall into this category, that if they were to send massive unsolicited ballots out, it would be the first time they've done it, and their databases would be as bad as these were, these were you know, the five, when they started. So we, we have some history, and we know that it takes some time to get them right, and a lot could go wrong. But they haven't tested it yet, and they don't have a history. So if these states got, a, got an output, let's say, a result, that the public didn't quite trust, what would you compare it to? Because we've never had a coronavirus situation with mass mail-in votes for this state or these states. So, Dale, now you understand the situation here, right? You've got two situations with mail-in votes. Thumbs up. Democrats like them. Republicans like them, independents, experts, the media, good and good. You got that so far, Dale? You understand that, right? I'm not an idiot. I got it. Okay, but you also follow that this is the minority. 
there, there are not many votes relative to this big, big category here. This one that's not tested with bad databases. And there are enough anecdotes of things going wrong in these situations that you have reason to worry. So, Dale, now do you understand why the president thinks that mail-in voting of this type, which would be the dominant type, would be not credible and maybe would you know, need some work. Do you understand that, Dale? Yes, I do. In other words, mail-in voting is perfectly safe. Um, I'm not sure what just happened here. It's possible that I said something wrong or I explained it wrong. <clears throat> but, Dale, two of these situations are good, but they're not very big if you add them all together. And the one that is big is bad. That's bad. You get that, right? You are just trying to gaslight me because we've already proven and everybody knows that mail-in votes are completely defendable, completely reliable. There's no problem with them whatsoever. In fact, the country has been doing mail-in votes and absentee votes for years, Scott. Years! Okay, <clears throat> Dale. When you talk about the absentee voting that we've been doing for years, we've been over this. That's not what we're talking about. So if you do me a favor, can we agree on this, Dale? Since, since nobody disagrees about absentee votes being a good idea, nobody, nobody on the whole planet has a problem with that. Would it be okay, just for convenience, if we never talk about it again? Just... Just act like it's not even part of the decision, since we all agree on it. Would you, would you agree, Dale? Yes, that's perfectly reasonable. So now do you see why mail-in voting is a problem? Scott, mail-in voting has been proven for years. For years it's worked. No, no. It hasn't been tested in the, most of the states the way they want to do it. Only the part we, can't, we don't want to talk about because there's nothing to talk about. Mail-in voting, absentee, it's reliable. Stop gaslighting me. Um, Dale, <clears throat> there's only one other thing I'd like to do. If you could, step over here. Just, just, just get a little bit closer. How about here? Yeah, that's good. Stay right there, Dale. Stupid fucking idiot! How goddamn you fucking stupid fucking idiot! Fucking idiot! Jesus! How many times do you have to tell Dale which kind of mail in vote it is? You fucking idiot! And scene. And now you understand mail-in voting. Glad I could help. Have a nice night.